Welcome back to my channel where every week I'm uploading a new DIY style tutorial hair and makeup tips. This week for you guys, it's another tutorial Tuesday. So let's get started. So first item on the refurbish list is this shirt, which I picked up and I just really liked the ruffled kind of crunched fabric it had, but I mean, it's obviously way too big for me and it even has a stain right here. So what I'm thinking of doing is just making this into a more fitted top and really putting some puff sleeves in here. So I have taken a shirt I already own and just placed it on top of the other shirt and this is what I'm going to use to cut out a pattern. So I'm cutting out from the inside of the armpit hole all the way around the neck and down the sides and this is going to be my bodice. So I just cut half of the shirt and then I'm folding it over to make sure the other half will be exactly the same size and cut. Little sewing trick for ya. Okay, I've got it all cut out. Now I'm just going to go ahead and sew the shoulder seams and the side seams. Now I am just going to cut off the sleeve going up through the armpit up to the shoulder. Yay, here we go. It's coming together. It's coming together. So now I just have to work on the sleeves. So the sleeves are pretty much done. I just really wanted to have that puffed sleeve look. To achieve that ruffled shoulder seam, I'm just folding over pleats about half an inch thick and sewing them along the top of the shoulder straps there. So just fold over every bit or so and sew that up. And then to insert the sleeve, fold the shirt inside out, put the sleeve inside of the shirt, matching up the bottom edges, the bottom middle seam put a pin in that, and then match up the top of the shoulder to the top of the shoulder seam in the shirt. And then you're just going to pin, make sure that it's even on both sides, and then just sew in that sleeve. Now to make the bottom of the sleeve more ruched, I'm going to add some elastic and I'm going to use the already existing hem that was on the shirt. So I just cut a little bit and I'm threading through the elastic and to finish just hem the neckline. <laughs> this floral skirt. It's just a long floral skirt. Nothing too fancy. I did like the fabric, but it's not really a style I would personally wear. It's kind of like, you know, grandma goes to church sort of thing. So I want to take this and make it into a ruffled mini skirt. One that like overlays on top of another, what's that called? Um, wrap, a wrap skirt with a ruffle trim. So that is the plan for this guy. Start off by cutting the skirt on one of the side seams all the way down. And then I'm using a skirt I already own, kind of like this A-line skirt, and I'm using that as a pattern 
to trace out and cut the shape I want the skirt to be. To make sure it's even on both sides, I just folded it over and obviously it's not, so I'm just cutting and making sure the bottom is nice and even. And here came the little rascal. So I took the piece I cut out and now I'm cutting out a second piece with the same size. But this time this piece is going to be the front flap, so I'm cutting it at a curve and leaving room at the side. And just cutting out another piece identical to this one, and this will make up the front of the skirt. Those will be the two pieces that will overlap each other. and I'm going ahead and sew those side seams. Now it's time to make the waistband. I'm just folding over about half an inch and then folding it over again to make a nice clean seam on the inside and I'm going to sew that up. With my leftover fabric from the skirt, I'm cutting out three inch strips. These are going to end up being the ruffle and I'm going to use one of the strips to make the tie that will tie the skirt together. And I'm going to sew the right sides together of all those strips and then just do that ruffle effect that we did at the sleeve for the other shirt. So I'm just folding over pleats and sewing as I go. And this is what they should look like when you're all done, very roughly. Now I'm going to make that strap, so just sew the right sides together. Put the right sides together on both sides and sew those ruffle and that tie in and the skirt will be all done. And don't forget to tune in next week for another Tutorial Tuesday. So if you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I will see you guys next week and ciao bellas. <laughs>